world is watching Russia. The country is now facing new sanctions as it observes Victory Day, commemorating victory over Nazi Germany during World War II. Today's military holiday also is being closely examined for signs of Russia's next steps in Ukraine. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden spent Mother's Day overseas. Canada's Prime Minister met face to face with Ukraine's president. ABC's Justin Finch is in Washington with details. Today marks Victory Day in Russia and uncertainty in Ukraine. Russia revering its military and World War II era win over Nazi Germany. War torn Ukraine closely watching President Putin's address to his people and the world. In advance of Victory Day, President Biden and G7 leaders sent out new sanctions, saying Vladimir Putin's actions bring shame on Russia and the historic sacrifices of its people. Those sanctions call for cutting off imports of Russian oil, targeting Russian state TV networks, and banning consulting and other services supporting Russia's war. All of this amid a raging battle for control of the East. Ukrainian officials releasing this video, the aftermath of a Russian bombing of a school in the Luhansk region where dozens were hiding, at least 60 people feared dead. At the holdout Azovstal steel complex in Mariupol, the last remaining civilians have reportedly escaped and the far right Azov regiment vows a full fight. We are basically here a dead man. Yeah? Most of us know this, yes, and uh, why we fight so fiercely. I thought it was important to show the Ukrainian people that this war has to stop. High-profile support from the West. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden holding a Mother's Day meeting with Ukraine's First Lady and displaced children in an unannounced visit to Western Ukraine. And Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in Kyiv in a meeting with President Zelensky pledging continued support. As you defend your freedoms, your democracy, your way of life. Prime Minister Trudeau also announcing Canada's reopening of its embassy in Kyiv. U.S. diplomats were also in Kyiv over the weekend ahead of plans to resume operations soon.